come back so last time i have shared a, a meeting application how it works what are the features what are the functions and now i'll be uh, taking it further and i'll be sharing how it uh, built what connection we have used in background and how it uh, works so this is a drona su studio no code platform and here uh, uh, we develop uh, or we create rather we create application over here let's say create new application uh, directly source it from marketplace of drona su studio so here i am just opening meeting application just to uh, uh, show you like what is in background how it uh, works yeah so this is a meeting application on builder view so this is one screen application here you can see like various control so like this control uh, just to uh, uh, start from the basic so this control all the list of control is available over here so we just need to uh, drag and drop control over here and it is available we can just uh, rename it as per our requirement and that is done so likewise all other controls i have just drag and drop from uh, this side this is you know all kind of control available uh, here so first i am deleting it so like i got all the controls now this is a uh, one list control in this list control i get all my upcoming meetings so i, I just uh, while setting up a meeting i'll just cross check whether a meeting i'm setting up is overlapping or is clashing between any other meeting or not i do all the uh, you know check in the background so we are just uh, simple a uh, timing is greater than lesser than so just to avoid any uh, clashing timing of a meeting so that is that now question is how i get my upcoming meeting of uh, zoom account into this control so here there is connectors and in connectors i have set up a zoom upcoming meeting uh, api so now where it came from so there is in connectors here we can see all the list of apis which is available in drona hq studio thing so in zoom we have currently three options available get profile get upcoming meeting and create meeting so i have used upcoming meeting and create meeting thing for this application so using this get upcoming meeting i get all details into this so just i'll open what i have entered so this is bind api control and i just uh, get this from here so in this control i get our upcoming meeting so again by entering meeting topic description time etc and clicking on submit i can set up a meeting if it is not clashing with any other meeting now what happens when we click on submit so that is in workflow so in workflow so this is entire workflow like this is start and end this end now what happens once a week uh, user click on submit button this first task is set up a meeting so here like we need to uh, add account if it is not there i have already added uh, my credentials and my account uh, into this so like it's not asking for the credential but if uh, uh we are adding a new a workflow and new task so it will ask for the zoom credential over here so like i have selected uh set up a meeting so here we just uh, need to provide topic which is already there on our uh, screen so we just need to map it with that thing which is there on screen so likewise all other details we need to enter continue and finish so now create meeting thing is done so we will from here we will get a, a join url we will get start url and all other details of that meeting which we normally get while we set a meeting uh, directly from the zoom account this all uh, detail we will get it from this task 
now i wanted to share join meeting and start uh, meeting url with the uh, uh, users with the attendees with the organizers but that that link is a bit you know a uh, bit long to share via message or any other thing so i used bitly to make that uh, so again same thing we need to log in with bitly account and what to do so here's a set meeting start url so which we are getting from this uh, previous set meeting task so start url and here output so short start url output link so we will get from this thing we will get a shorter start url link again here we will get shorter join you url link then after that i wanted to uh, send a, a, a message to on slack to particular user with what so with start time with uh, start url meeting topic everything so this will go to a organizer who is organizing a meeting this this message will go to uh, that user with all the details then while we invite uh, others to this meeting so like i wanted to set uh, send a mail so i have selected mail task so this mail will go to attendees with all this detail topic then start time and join url and then i wanted to uh, go this meeting should go to my calendar so that i can uh, be in sync uh, with upcoming meeting it i can get reminders as well remind, uh, regarding this meeting so i have selected a google calendar task and this will go to uh, uh, into calendar as well whoever is setting up a meeting so this is how like you know workflow uh, of this particular application so it's very much simple we just need to click on plus button we need to just select task we want to perform let's say just for an example i'm selecting zoom so what to do like so uh, if we want to get upcoming meeting select that we want to create meeting so just select that continue here it will ask to add a account this account is already added so it is not asking for the credential or else it will ask for the credential now here select the topic which uh, which is already i have added on screen so i just need to map it make in the description i then start time which is there so just need to select over here and likewise we can set up we can do continue we can set up uh, uh, you know create meeting thing task so this is what happened in background and this is how uh, this application is connected with uh, various uh, options so i hope uh, this uh, gave you fair amount of idea how exactly this or this kind of application can be built using zona shuno code low code platform so thank you thank you for your time